now we got the shark out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and work on the. We're going to do about a 90% disassembly of this and check it all out, see if there's any issues, and we'll do some deep cleaning on some items. I've got a, a low impact uh, impact driver. I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, bolts out here. I've got a 13 millimeter socket head, 13 millimeter wrench. Watch as you lift this uh, this pin flipper off that uh, you don't drop your bushings. There's bushings underneath. If you at least so you can catch them. So one fell out. There's the bushings I was talking about. As you can see on the inside, these are the, uh, you can give me that light right there. Those are the ones I'm taking off with the 13 millimeter wrench on the inside. There's three of them. One, two, and the third one's over that direction. to get those uh, the lock nuts off from the bottom because there's no lip on the base side of this shark. On the inside there's the lip that the belt rides across. So if you get it from the bottom it's easier to get out. You can get the, the angle you need against this wall of this housing. Next step we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull the shark fin out. You can see by the the way it is, you want to lift from this the back end. You know, lift up. You know, lift up this direction and pull it out. So we'll just uh, start out. It's a little easier, I believe, to get off of this end than it's because you don't have the uh, metal flanges in your way, like down here. And the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and extract the, the gear pulley wheel on this side. It's a 13 millimeter socket as well. Now in case it binds a little bit to get it out, I'll show you an easy way, easy way to get the wheel out, the pulley wheel out. Uh, you got these, these flaps right here on the wheel. Uh, if you stick a, a socket or a screwdriver in between there and then bring it up close and then pry the bar out, and next time I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the two bolts here with the bushings, one's going to hold in the solenoid, and uh, this other one is just for squaring up the frame for the pulley and the shark itself. show you something real quick. The, um, there's two bushing sizes here. One's about a, maybe about a little less than a quarter inch, you know, a little more than a, uh, one eighth, so probably about three sixteenths difference in these. Your longer one, this one do, does the solenoid right here. Your shorter one does the spacing between the sharks.
Now with the uh, shark securing bolt out, uh, the solenoid, we're going to just go ahead and pull this whole solenoid out. See the back side here? Hopefully so you can see it. I'm just going to pull the wire and just easily bring it out. There's the solenoids out. And then the switch, uh, I have to look up the name of this one for you, but uh, I'm going to pull this one out as well. Oh, spring fell out. Plunger, I know that. Not sure if that's a switch plate, but I'll give you a part number and a listen for it on the video. And our O rings are bad right here, so we're going to switch those O rings out as well. Last but not least, we're going to pull off these double pulley wheels because we're going to be able, we're going to check the bearings on both of the the geared pulley and the regular pulley for the shark. All right, so we're not trying to tear up these rubber mounts. Uh, so I got a pair of channel locks. Watch you don't grab them too hard when you're trying to undo this. And we're going to just unscrew it uh, counterclockwise to extract it. So I'm going to just grip it lightly, and uh, if this side, if, you're, if this one side doesn't come out easy, try extracting your other side first. We'll see. Next side seems like it's binding, so I'm going to try the other side. Okay, so one side came out easy. I'm going to show you the trick to be sure to get the other side out. So if you uh, if you try and just undo the other side, it's just going to spin that bushing. So what I, now that I've got the uh, the central bushing out, I can spread the sides of the housing apart enough that I can get a hold of just the edge of this lip on the pulley right around the bearing area. Let me see if I can bring it up here. I'm just going to grab just on the edge of that. Just these out. That will come on. Not tight enough. So we'll grab on the it inside lip of that shaft. And I'm going to take another set of channel locks. Grab the rubber mount. and back it out that way while I'm holding it. <clears throat> Man. This one might be rusted in there. Oh, I believe that one is rusted up in there pretty bad. Let's see if I can try breaking it free. This one, I've got more spare mounts, so this one may be lo a lost cause. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, this one's falling apart on me. I broke it free from the housing. It was kind of rusted to the housing, and it started to, once I knew it was and knew it was spinning the shaft. Then I grabbed the shaft with the other set of pliers, and now I'm able to extract it. I'm going to install a brand new one because this one's just a loss. Yeah, so much rust and uh, oxidization. But that's the uh, that's the little bit of the shaft right there that I was able to hold on to with a set of channel locks to keep it from free spinning in my hand. So we're gonna do a lot of cleaning on that bearing, and this thing's shot, so we're not gonna reuse this rubber mount. 
All right, so that's as far as I break it down for the cleaning, unless you got something uh, damaged in your housing. Maybe your uh, bushings came out here. Hopefully they didn't. Ours are pretty solid on this one.